Welcome to the show, everybody. It's the Crypto Lark. Today, I wanted to introduce you to some of cryptocurrency's most influential, talented, and creative women. I have compiled a collection of names here, but this is far from a comprehensive list of names. Nevertheless, these are some great people to be keeping an eye on if you didn't know about them already. Before we get into that, a quick shout out, as always, to everyone who's been hitting that like button. And of course, everyone who's been subscribing to the channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you hit that button down below or the bell to stay up to date with all of Lays in the Crypto Space. Furthermore, I have included all of the Twitter links for everyone that I talk about today down below as well. So make sure you follow them along as well. This is, of course, not professional financial advice. This is just a dude talking about women who love to talk about cryptocurrencies on the Internet. Let's get into it. The first person I'd like to introduce you today is Neha Narula. Now she is the director of MIT's Digital Currency Initiative. She is a very vocal advocate for cryptocurrency. She's done TED Talks, for example, and she is a frequent speaker at conferences, which is fantastic. Linda Shi, she is the co-founder of Scalar Capital. Now this is a crypto asset investment management company. She's an advisor over at OX Project. And of course, she is the former product manager at Coinbase, making her a very well-connected person in the space. Next up, we have Laura Shin. Chances are you have probably read one or many of her articles if you've been around the cryptocurrency space for any amount of time. She is perhaps the top journalist in the cryptocurrency space. She also hosts her own podcast. Very cool. Next up, we have, of course, Dr. Gemma Green. She is the co-founder and chair of Power Ledger. Of course, Power Ledger is, I think, a project that doesn't need much of an introduction. It is one of the hot projects at the moment. In addition to being the co-founder and chair over at Power Ledger, she's also the deputy mayor of Perth. And she also chairs many different boards on renewable energies. She keeps busy. Wow. I thought I was busy. Elizabeth Stark. Now, you guys have all heard of Lightning Network. Of course, she is the co-founder of Lightning Labs. Yeah, that one. <laughs> she has also advised a lot of different projects. She is a former professor at Stanford and at Yale, where she talked about the future of the internet. She is certainly one of the top influencers in the space at the moment, especially considering how crucial the Lightning Network upgrades will be for Bitcoin to successfully scale moving forward. Next, we have Ariana Simpson. Now, Ariana is formerly of BitGosh. That was a Bitcoin security firm, a very influential enthusiast for cryptocurrencies in the space. She was an early investor in cryptocurrencies, and she currently works in venture capital funding for cryptocurrencies. Next up, we have Joyce Kim. Now, she is the co-founder of SparkChain. This is a venture capital fund for blockchain startups. Oh, and by the way, she's also the co-founder of Stellar Lumens. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. And she, uh, of course, sits on the board over at Stellar Lumens as well. Again, very busy. Fantastic, though. Next up, we have Meltem Demirs. Now, she is the VP of the Digital Currency Group. She is a member of the World Economic Forum Global Future Council on Blockchain. Wow. And she is an advisor for the MIT Media Lab, amongst other things. Very, very cool. Next up, we have Amber Baladet. Now, Amber is a blockchain, or is the, not a, the blockchain program lead over at JP Morgan. Very cool. She is a prolific public speaker, regularly speaking on blockchain and cryptocurrency. And she is a self-described enthusiast of whiskey, cats, and cryptocurrencies. Nice. Okay. Next up, we have Elizabeth Rossiello. She is the CEO and founder of BitPesa. This is a very interesting company. She is bringing digital money and financial inclusion to Africa. Awesome. Trying to make business in Africa as pain-free as possible using, of course, 
digital currencies to make that happen. Next up is Amanda B. Johnson. She is the spokesperson for Dash, everyone's favorite digital cash. Of course, Dash is one of the absolute top projects in the cryptocurrency space. So for her to be at the helm as the spokesperson for that makes her a very influential person. Not to mention, of course, that she is also out there regularly teaching workshops on blockchain and cryptocurrency. So a very active enthusiast in the space. Next up, we have Galia Bernardzi. Now, apart from being an entrepreneur and plant lover, she is also the co-founder of Bangor. Very cool. She is at the forefront of women remaking money and the future. A very powerful person in the space for sure. Next up, we have Carolyn Reckow. Now, Carolyn is the director of Consensus, and Consensus has been putting women at the forefront of technology in their organization. So definitely an admirable approach to getting more women involved in cryptocurrencies, which is fantastic to see. Next up, we have Zhang Kiki. Now she is the marketing, the global marketing manager for NEO. Now she's relatively new to this position, but this is an incredibly influential position considering the massive growth and interest for NEO. So this is definitely an upcoming influencer without a doubt. Next up, we have Naomi Brockwell. You may know her as Bitcoin Girl. She is a regular on-air advocate for Bitcoin. She even has made some music videos. And of course, she goes out and does Vox Pops and all these different things. Definitely a good news source for cryptocurrency. And finally, we have Heidi of, of course, Crypto Tips, providing her regular commentary as she travels around the world on all of the latest in the crypto space, giving different news and reviews of projects. As mentioned, this is far from an exhaustive list. These are just some names that I think are some really important people in the space who you may want to be keeping an eye on if you didn't know about them already. Follow their Twitters. Some of them have YouTube. Some of them have podcasts. Get involved. Support these women in supporting cryptocurrencies because they are out there every day spreading the good word of cryptocurrency. So my hat off to all of these women for being so involved in the cryptocurrency space and helping move us forward to the cryptocurrency and blockchain revolution that we need so much. Long live the blockchain and peace out till next time.